Hey everybody, Tim Norris and Carmen Norris and welcome to the final scenario of Burnt Offerings. In this, uh, for this scenario it says the difficulty of checks to acquire items or weapons is increased by two. So it's going to be hard for us to get our items or weapons. We have our four locations laid out here and I'll begin with these two here. We've got the throne room which is a familiar location and it says at this location at the start of your turn you may recharge an item to draw a card. When closing, succeed at a Charisma or Diplomacy 6 check. Well, that might work well for me. Uh, the Warrens is our next location, and it says at this location, when you encounter a monster, put a random monster from the box on top of another random open location deck. When closing, succeed at a Dexterity or Acrobat 6 check. I don't like that place, <laughs> but at the same time, that's a good place for you to try uh, to close. It'd be nice if I could close it early, but mm -hmm. if it... Keeps adding monsters, that's not good. Okay. Well, there's only three monsters in that location, so... Okay, uh, then go ahead. Thassalon Thassalonian Dungeon. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, if you play a spell with the arcane trait, you may immediately draw a card. We do not have magic users, so that's not really going to affect there's us. There's spells in the location, but... Uh, um, when we... closing, succeed at an intelligence or yeah. arcane 7 check. That's going to be really hard for very, us. Very, very, very difficult, <laughs> yep. Okay, Goblin Fortress. The difficulty to defeat monsters with the Goblin trait is increased by two. When closing, summon and defeat a Goblin Raider Henchman. Uh, when permanently closed, add 1d4 random weapons to this location without looking at them, then automatically acquire the top card. Okay, All right. well, um, it makes sense for me. Seems how I do have, um, you know, a D, uh, I roll a d6 with a uh -huh. plus two. So I'm going to start in the throne room here and see what I can do. Now, I know that we, before this started rolling this video, we talked about avoiding the Warrens. Mm. I almost think maybe let's just attack it. You know what I'm saying? Try you, to close it down early. Hey, your specialty is well, Dexterity and Acrobats. I was thinking about going here because... The Goblin uh, Fortress. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to add monsters to this Immediately, deck. maybe? Yeah, Go yeah. here first and then we'll move right. over here? Mm -hmm. Okay, that works for me. So I'm going to draw my deck now. Or my hand, I mean. Two, three, four, and five. And uh, you need to draw your five cards, and uh, we will see how we're going to start here. So, And uh, I, did, I only drew one weapon out of all that. Wow. Okay, so uh, you want to go first or second? I'll let you go first. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so let me flip over my card, and it says, It's a spell, Detect Evil. It's a Wisdom Divine 4. It says you can discard this card to examine the top card of your location deck. If it is a monster other than a henchman or villain, you may immediately encounter it. So, that'd be cool to do immediately, but Wisdom Divine 4, let's take a look at my card. My Wisdom is a 4, so I would actually have to roll a 4 with a 4. So, and I rolled a 1. So, goodbye Detect Evil. You are back into the box with you. Alright, Carmen, it is your turn. I'll flip over your clock. Okay. Potion of Gracefulness, ooh, um, it's an Intelligence <laughs> Craft 6, um, yeah, my yeah. Intelligence is a D4. Okay, what's it do? Uh, let's see, banish this card and choose a character at your location to succeed in an mm. acrobatics check. Okay, so, no sense in wasting anything, you, yeah. you're already so good at the acrobatics and everything, so why, who cares, right? Okay. All right. All right, a Potion of vis Vision. This is an Intelligence Craft 4. Um, and once again, I am a D4 on this, so... Uh, and I did get it. No. What? I'm the sorry. The difficulty of checks to acquire oh. items or weapons is increased by 2. Very good, hon. I'm glad you caught that. So. Yep, so that was the scenario uh, dilly here. So, unfortunately, I did roll a 4, but uh, that will not allow me to gain this. So... All right. Boy, this is going real well for us at first. <laughs> There's some monsters. Let's just fight some monsters. There we oh, go. Oh, there you go. There's a monster. Oh, boy. All right. This could actually be um, bad. Check to defeat combat 12 or wisdom divine 8. The ghost is immune to the mental and poison traits. If your check to defeat does not have the magic trait, the ghost is undefeated. You have nothing, I don't think, that adds magic. No. So, you're so good. if you're he's going to be undefeated anyway. You might as well just evade him. I'll just... Yeah. Okay, so you're just going to use your ability to evade, and he'll just get shuffled back into the deck. So. Yeah. All right. Well, we know the ghost is there, so you're going to have to decide if you want to keep sticking around there or, or not. I'm wasting so. time. Okay, yeah. so um, is your turn over? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to check, because you do have a blessing I of the do, God. I do, but I don't want to use it so. for that. Okay. okay, so I will flip over the next one, and 
Boots of Elven Kind. Well, we're finding some interesting stuff here. Dexterity Acrobats 5. Uh, my Dexterity is a D8, so I'd have to actually roll a 7 with a D8. So, And I rolled a 2. So, whoop, okay. This is going real well for us here. <laughs> Isn't Marcy Playground that had that Cloak of Elven Kind? Uh, that song? Sure. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I'll go ahead and move over here since I'm not going to be able to get past that ghost. So... We'll see what happens. You, I, before you do that, yeah. I, I mean, my thinking on that is, is what's the difference between you finding a monster here and adding a card to another location versus just evading the, the ghost again? When you encounter a monster, put a random... Mo oh. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you, you can always evade the monster. I, I didn't just realize. It's just every time you encounter one, that's kind of right. uh, bad. So yeah, you already... I, yeah. I flipped for uh -huh. you. Okay. Ambush. Oh, actually, this is kind of good because you okay. can get rid of yes. that. Yes. Okay. Or avoid it. Uh, it's a Wisdom, Perception, Dexterity, Acrobatics, 9. Okay. My Dexterity, Acrobatics is now a plus 4, and I roll a d12. Mm -hmm. The difficulty to defeat the barrier is increased by the adventure deck number of the current scenario. Okay, so we are on number 1. Yes, so it's 10. Um, if defeated, you may immediately explore again. If undefeated, examine the location deck until you find a monster, encounter it, Subtracting one from each die rolled in your check. Okay, so... Okay. So regardless, at least you're going to be able to explore twice here. So that's good because that makes up for the one you had to evade. So I roll a d12. For your acrobatics. Mm -hmm. um, plus four. And I have to get a ten. So I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and use a blessing just to uh, be on the safe side. Um, okay. Um, uh, so... You, you're, you get a plus four, right, on your... Did you say a plus four on your dexterity? Yes. Okay, so you're going to end up needing to roll a six with a d12. Is that what you're saying? Right. That's not that bad of odds, really. And, I mean, truthfully, it's a half a dozen one another. You're either going to encounter a monster, which could just be the ghost, and you can evade him again, or it could be, uh, you know, for all we know, it could be a henchman. So, in, yeah. in a way, it's actually it's a good really thing. It's not really going to hurt me if I don't... Well, pet, my, if I don't get my feelings are it's not a bad thing if you do right. encounter a monster. All right, let's go. Then we'll just. And Two. you did fail, so okay. All right. So this goes away, correct? And it gets replaced with a monster from the deck. If undefeated, examine the location deck until you find a monster. Okay. Keep going. Yeah, okay, so well, it's a plague zombie, unfortunately. Okay, so there you go. Shuffle yeah. the remaining <laughs> cards back in. Okay, it doesn't say that this goes away. I think I should shuffle that back in too. Yeah, just give me the plague zombie. Give me the, the or you take the plague zombie. There you go. All right, check to defeat combat eleven. The plague zombie is immune to mental and poison traits. If undefeated, banish the plague zombie, and each character at this location must succeed at a Constitution or Fortitude six check, or be dealt one d four acid damage. Oh, that okay. thing's mean. Okay, now keep in mind you're gonna have to subtract one from each one of your die when you do fight it. Okay. Um, I have my heavy crossbow. Okay. So that's going to give me my dexterity die. Plus a d10. A d10. Um. You know you can just see. evade this thing if you wanted to. No, I don't need to do that. Recharge this card to add three with the fire trait to a combat check. That's with what Poog, Poog does. Mm -hmm. Poog. Alright, so he'll add three. Okay. So he's just adding plus three, correct? Mm hmm Okay. So I have plus five, basically. Okay. Uh, and then I have to subtract two. Mm-hmm. So you need so, to roll at least an eight. Yeah. Let's, let's do this. Very doable. Oh. Woo! Okay. All right. So Barely. you did defeat the plague zombie. All right. But it does say if undefeated. Okay. So it's undefeated. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're fine. So the plague zombie has been destroyed. And, uh... Are you all finished up? All finished. All right. So I will turn mine over and let's see what happens. All right, a Goblin Pyro. So it says here that um, the Goblin Pyro is a combat eight. And it says after the encounter, the Goblin Pyro deals one fire damage to you. So well, that's a bummer. All right. So um, nothing's adding to his uh, combat check. So that's a good thing. All right. So um, I will use my... Scimitar, which says, uh, for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d6. Well, my strength is a d10 plus 5, so I would roll the d6 plus a d10, 
and all I'd have to do is roll a three between these two. Um, so all I need is like a two and a one, basically. As long as I don't roll two ones, I got him, right? So, all right. And he is, well, he's well dead, yes. <laughs> okay, but he did deal one fire damage to me, so I'm going to have to get rid of something here. Um, I'll just destroy this potion of fortitude and then draw a new card up, and it is your turn. So, I fluked the pig. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, here we are with a henchman. This is Larry Akinja. And it says here, the check to defeat is a combat nine. And it says, before the encounter, Lyria Akiya deals 1d4 minus 1 fire damage to you. So you're going to have to roll the d4. All right. And then now, subtract one. This time I want to roll one. And yes. you did. Very well. Right. Very well. Okay. If uh, defeated, you may immediately attempt to close this location, which okay. Okay, this is great. That's okay. great. So she is a combat... Or a check to defeat combat nine, and okay. she is not a goblin, which is great. Uh, this is going to work well and in, right into your so hands. So I get my D twelve and my D ten mm -hmm. plus two, and I need to get a nine. Okay, and oh, so guys. okay, so let's see. I will go ahead and recharge mm -hmm. my masterwork tools and add a D six. Okay. I think I'm in pretty good shape with those three dice. Okay, so all you're going to need to do is get a seven, correct? With those three dice? Uh, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's okay. do this. That's it. All right. All right. Wow, wow you really killed it. <laughs> okay, so this uh, henchman has now been destroyed. So now you get to attempt to close down the location. And it says here you must summon and defeat... A Goblin Raider Henchman. Okay. Now, unfortunately, this is bad because uh, you're in the Goblin Fortress, mm -hmm. which means that his check to defeat will be a 10 instead of an 8. Um, and okay. also down at the bottom it says, If undefeated, bury one item or weapon of your choice from your discard pile. But I don't think you're going to have a problem here. I think you got this. I will use my heavy crossbow. Mm -hmm. um, I'll go ahead and... Recharge. Recharge it. Yep. That's this. all I was going to say. And that way I get the same dice. And so you're I just going to have to roll an 8 this time. Yes. Okay. A 1, a 9, and a 3. So good job. Woo! Uh, you have now successfully closed down this location. Woo -woo. Before we do it, it says on closing, add 1d4 random weapons to this location without looking at them, then automatically acquire the top one. So what I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to shuffle these. And four. You get four. So here's the top one. Ooh, a flaming mace. What is that thing? That looks pretty sweet. See, for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d8 plus 1. You may additionally discard this card to add another d4 with the fire trait. Pretty cool. Nice! Wow, that, I want a flaming mace. Okay, so um, awesome. We have now officially closed this location down, and uh, we are on to the other one. So, are you all finished up Ooh, then? Look at all those weapons oh, yeah. I've got. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so I, I got a wooden shield. Hmm. Um, this is a Constitution Fortitude 4, which my Constitution is a D8, but it'll actually be a 6 because, um, remember, it, it'll be increased by 2. So. Right. And uh, I didn't acquire it. Okay, that was actually incorrect. It's only items or weapons that are affected by the scenario. So I actually should have acquired the shield. I needed an intelligence check, so I guess I'll go over here. <laughs> what does that do right there? That's just wisdom. And wisdom. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Let's do let's it. see what happens. Come on, hon. A Five glass. A wisdom perception four. Uh, my wisdom is a D6. So it'll perception actually be a six. Perception is plus two. So, okay. a d6 plus 2. So, you got to roll a 6. You got to roll a 4 with that die. Roll a 4. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, we'll see. Hey, you yeah, did it. got it. Okay, okay. It says, reveal this card to add 1d6 to your perception check. Discard this card to examine the top two cards of your location deck and put them back in any order. So, all right. Oh. Good job. That's well, actually pretty cool. You want to do it? Can I discard this card right now? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So what does it do exactly? Uh, examine the top two cards of your location decks. Put them back in any order. Okay. 
What do you got? A guard and an ambush. Okay, well, the good thing, an ambush again. Yeah. The good thing is there was no monster, I guess. Uh, it's the same, yeah, same ambush. Mm -hmm. So, I guess I'll just... Put the guard on top? It. Doesn't matter. Okay. Right. Are you all finished? Yes. All right. Here I go. All right, here's the other henchman. This is Oryk Van Kasturkin. Uh, must be Russian. Um, okay, it says that a check to defeat is a combat 10. Down at the bottom it says, if defeated, succeed at a Charisma 5 check to search this location deck and choose a boon to add to your hand, nice. then shuffle the location deck. That's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. If defeated, you may immediately attempt to close the location. All right, so um, let's. Uh, he has nothing that's being added to him. So, all right, let's get down to business. Um, let me see here. I will use my short sword because it is a short sword plus one. And I will then get a d10 for my natural strength. That is also a plus five. So all I'm going to have to do is roll a four, actually, because my short sword's a plus one. I have a natural uh, plus five, so that's a six. So all I need to do is roll a four to be, be able to defeat him. So I get the d10 um, plus a d6. Because of my short sword, I'm going to recharge this short sword. Um, if you additionally discard this card, add an additional d6. And, yep. All right, so that's it. And all I need to do is roll a four. So as long as I get two ones and a two, this guy's defeated. And I got him. So it says here that I may search through this location deck and acquire a boon of... Ooh. I had forgotten I'm actually supposed to do a charisma check five to be able to go through the location deck to be able to acquire the boon. Um, you're not going to need that. I'll take the long sword just because I can use that right now. So, all right. Um... He is gone. Now, at this location, it says, succeed at a charisma. I shouldn't have uh, put all the cards over there. Sorry about that. Because it's not, it's not closed technically yet. closed yet. Okay. So, it says here, succeed at a charisma or diplomacy six check. Okay. Well, this is kind of a big deal. So, I'm thinking uh, blessings are in order for this. Do you agree? Um, because I do have a d6 with my charisma okay. plus two. So, I'd have to roll a four with my d6. But if I use my blessing of uh, Calistra, I could roll two d6s at least. All right. You like that Sounds idea? Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you not want to add anything Let's get more? Get this closed. Or you, you think I probably... I mean, uh, I just got to roll a two with both of these. Okay. And there you go. There you All go. right. So I got a six and a four. That's a ten. So this location, now I can take these and put them over there. So, all right. So, uh, boom. Throne room is closed. Now, just so you know, I could have been recharging items there to search again, but I just uh -huh. didn't want to mess with that too early in the game. So I'm going to draw back up. I'm going to flip your card, and Carmen, you are up again. And the only place that a monster could be added is right there, so... Uh, well, yeah, it, and it would be nice if the villain's here, because then we don't have to succeed yeah. at a <laughs> intelligence yeah, or a paycheck. Okay. That would work out well. The guard um, is a Constitution, Constitution Fortitude 4 or a Charisma Diplomacy 6. So, what's your charisma? D6? Um, my charisma is a D6, and my constitution is also a, a D6. D6. So you're better to do a D6 with the or the uh, constitution, okay. and it doesn't affect us with this. Right, so that's what I was okay. looking at. Okay. Uh, okay. So I don't get in. That's okay. I don't Goodbye. like you. I, don't uh, like I didn't really you. like you either. I didn't want you. <laughs> Alright, so I'll flip. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you finished? Yeah, okay. I don't want to use Where are you thinking I that? should go? I mean, there's no hopes of me closing down that location, but at the same time... Unless the villain's there. Well, my thing is, is that it's... I think we should always stay separate because you fight so much I better by yourself. I when you're with Right, me. Yeah. right. So, all right. I'll just stay here. Don't you give me something if you're with me? I, I give you a plus 1d4 is what I'll give you, but that's not going to... Okay, yeah. so I would get a d4 instead of a d6. Yeah, basically. so that, that's not helping you that much. Okay, are you ready? Sure. All right. Let's go. Find traps. It is a... Was that your blessing? Uh-huh. Okay, a sorry. Wisdom Divine 6. Discard this card, add two dice to any check to defeat a barrier. So, a Wisdom Divine 6. My Wisdom is a D4, so goodbye, find traps. <laughs> and uh, that's one card down in that location. <laughs> All right. All right. So, I will flip over yours. And, and now and it's the ambush. Ambush it is. So, you know okay. what you got to do. You just got to roll the D12. And here's the thing. We might get lucky, and you might find a henchman when you do have to do your search thing. So, so I have. Um, and plus remember, four. it says when you encounter, you can always evade before you encounter. So I'm gonna roll. Um, I need to roll a five. 
right? Um, it's a nine. Yes, you need to roll a five. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so I you did two. fail. Again, I failed again. So Jeez. let's see what happens. Nothing. Nothing. All right, there we go. It's another henchman. This actually couldn't have worked out any better than what it just did. Okay. So I'm going to reshuffle this after you fight the henchman. All right, so it says here that um, there is... Okay, when you encounter a monster, put a random monster from the... And he is a monster, so we don't want to obviously evade him. So let's put this monster right there. All right, now, um, so we've taken care of the location uh, thing. And then on the uh, Goblin Raider himself, it says check the defeat and eight. And then if uh, undefeated, bury one item or weapon of your choice from your, your discard pile. If defeated, you may immediately attempt to close the location. So, sorry, I didn't mean to stammer so much there. Okay, so uh, he's, he, is he, he's increased by one. So he's a nine? Uh, yes. No, well, no, 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 he's no. just an eight. No, he's no, just no, an he's eight. just an eight. Okay, because I'm thinking about using this flaming mace, because it gives me two d8s, plus one, plus a d4. And, uh, it doesn't affect you because, uh, you're proficient with weapons now, so... Right. Okay, so you're talking about two d8s... Plus uh, one. Plus one. Plus a d4. Okay, now what's your return throwing axes do for you? Uh, my return throwing axe gives me my d12 plus a d8 plus one. Okay, so you're uh, looking at a, a 21 there, and this is a 1621 here. They're the same difference. Um, plus I can recharge it to add another d6. Um, and then I can recharge another card and add another d6. I Okay, you're going to have to succeed at a dexterity or acrobat six check, so obviously you don't want to use your... Blessing. Blessing, okay. okay. Um... I think you're better to use your returning throwing axes then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my dexterity die plus 1d8 1 1 plus D8. 1. Okay. And then are you going to do the recharge? Or I, would, I wouldn't recharge that. I would actually recharge this and get your additional d6. Right. Well, I could recharge both of them and get two d6s. Kind of bit of overkill, ain't it? <laughs> I mean, you got to remember too, the reason you want to... You're fighting with melee with that thing. Okay. Whereas you're not getting your bonus when you fight with your dexterity, you're getting your bonus on top of that, which is your plus two. So right, yeah, right. it's it's much better for you to use the returning okay. throwing axe. So you just need to roll a six. Got right. him. So there's a. I'm on fire. So now it's a matter of you actually succeeding at the dexterity or acrobat six check. Okay, so, my dexterity. You just gotta roll a two. Yeah, I just gotta roll a two. Um, now let's make now. Here's the thing. This is kind of a big deal, don't you agree? Um, I think if, if I, you do that, then we guarantee it's closed. I don't even have to roll. No, because you don't. I'm gonna roll a one no matter You're what. You're gonna roll two ones no matter uh -huh. what. So by using that blessing, um, we have closed down this location yes. as well. So Dude, all good. Right. Three locations down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So wow, we are. Cooking with gas here, man. We're flying through this stuff. Those ambushes are helping us out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So okay. that's why I was telling you. I'm not worried about the ambushes because in a way it's a good thing. You're able to cipher through the deck and see what's in there. Yeah. All right. So we know this is a monster. So all right. So a tick board board. It's a combat eight. It says before the encounter succeed at a wisdom or survival seven check or the difficulty to defeat the tick board board is increased by two. I'm not worried about the fact he'd be increased. So the villain, but I, villain's definitely here then. You already oh, yeah. looked at all those cards? Yeah, right? yeah, it's there. It's <laughs> Somehow we lucked out. That's funny. Um, so I'm going to use my guide. My guide says recharge this card to add 1d10 to your survival check. My survival check is non-existent, so I would actually just roll a d4 and a d10 and see if I can't possibly get a 7 with that. So... I'm going to recharge that card, and let's see what happens. And I rolled an 11, so right. he is going to just be a D8 for me to be able to beat up. All right, so um, I will use um, my, obviously, my melee, which is also a plus 5, so I'm going to have to roll a 3. My mm -hmm. uh, may I also have strength, it's D10, so I have to roll a 3 with that. I will use my long sword, which gives me an additional D8, and then... I will also recharge it to get an additional D6. So, I'm sorry, Tickwood Boar, but you look tasty. We're going to eat good tonight. All right, so he has been obviously That's defeated right. pretty hard there. So. Get some bacon going. <laughs> yeah, <woo -hoo>! Fried <laughs> bacon! <laughs> All right, so um, I will stop there. So I'm going to flip over your card for you, and I guess you're coming over to come play date with me. Hello there, Play Paris. date, play date. 
All right. Oh, Ooh, wow. You could use that uh, possibly. Let's see. So it says it's a dexterity ranged nine. Um, it says for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your dexterity or ranged die plus your unmodified strength die plus one. Mm -hmm. Eh, I guess that's okay. Um, so your dexterity, you don't have ranged, unfortunately. So it's a matter of you rolling a seven with a d12. Let's go. Seven. Oh, I forgot to roll back up. And I rolled a two. two. All right, so Longbow, goodbye. Goodbye, Longbow. And uh, I'd imagine it is my turn now. Yes. All right. I so. do not have a blessing. And there she is. Wow. <laughs> All right, so if I defeat her, this is game. Uh, and let's see what happens here. It looks like, oh, wow, you got to defeat her twice in combat. She, mm. ain't, she ain't easy. All right, so it says here that the check to defeat is a combat 12, then a combat 14. However, it says before the encounter... Nual, Nualia deals 1d4 force damage to each character at this location. Oh. So, um, let's see what happens. So, I will roll, and then I guess you will roll, right? So, oh, God, I rolled a 4. Ugh, that couldn't have went any worse. Um, wow, before the encounter, she deals 1d4 force damage. There's... Uh, and for each blessing played in a check against her, the difficulty of the check is increased by two. So, obviously, I'm just going to keep my great axe in my hand, and mm -hmm. I've just gotten hit by four. So, Carmen, same with you. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to roll it. Um, it says each character at this location. Deals 1d4 force damage to each character. Yeah, you roll. I, I, I'm assuming she's... What? Definitely damaging me, but whether I'm supposed to roll or not, you rolled a one. Rolled so. a one. But, Man, you got but, lucky. Oh, I'm not sure if your roll was supposed to apply to me. That's I don't think so. I think we roll separately. Okay, so I'll just get rid of my Matic. All right, so let's see uh, if I get lucky here or not. So, obviously, um, I have to come up with a 12. I'm just going to use my Great Axe. I cannot discard this. This is my only weapon. But you got to keep in mind, mm -hmm. as long as I succeed on this first encounter, you can do the second one. Okay, well, I also have this. Uh, I may discard this card to add 1d4 to a combat check. Oh, add another location. Okay. You're at my location. So let me repeat this okay, again well, real quick, what I was yes. saying. As long as I defeat her the first time, you are allowed to take over the second combat. Right. Okay. okay. The only problem is you're not going to be able to discard cards to be able to um, get the D6s because you're at my location, but you will get the 1D4 from uh -huh. the automatic. Okay. So is that something we want to consider doing because I could recharge this Great Axe to be able to make sure I do succeed on the first check with her. If you are confident enough, you could come up with a Combat 14 for the second check. Yes, because actually I can recharge my returning throwing axe. Let's do this then. Okay, then I am going to use my Strength, obviously, which is a D10. Then I will use uh, uh, my Great Axe, which is a D12, and then mm -hmm. it says you may additionally you may additionally discard this card to add an, uh, your unmodified Strength die, uh, which is an, an additional D10. But I don't discard; I just recharge, mm -hmm. and I have a natural plus six or five. I mean, so I will need to roll a seven with these three dice. Okay. So. Okay, so she has been hit the first Got time. Got it, good. Okay. I am now turning it over to you uh, for you to try to hit her for 14 for the oh, second attempt. Oh, you don't attempt. even have to try to hit her for the second attempt? No, no, no. no. It's it's in your hands now okay. to defeat her. So I'll use my returning throwing axe. That gives me a dexterity or range die plus 1d8. So where's the d8? Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, plus one, and I may also recharge this card to add another D6. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then you get a, because you are in my location, you do get an, an additional D4 uh, as well. And just so we're all clear, I am proficient with weapons, so. Yes, yeah, we, we you upgraded that last yeah. time, so. Yeah, okay. All right, so you got to get a 14 with all this, but you are fighting with your dexterity, correct? Uh-huh. So you got to get a 12 with all of this. All right. Wow, that could not have been any worse oh, of a roll, dear. Wow. All right, so you rolled a whopping four, five, six. So you took six damage. Okay. Um, so obviously your magic leather armor. Banish this card to reduce all damage dealt to you to zero. But if you're proficient with light armors, are you? Yes, bury, okay. bury this card instead. So, okay, so okay. that gets buried. And uh, unfortunately that does mean 
Uh, she just she is not defeated. No, nope. she wow. runs away. At least she's running away to the same location. <laughs> I'm shocked that you whiffed that badly. Uh, I mean, that was bad. I knew that it was still a stretch, but I mean, truthfully, I mean, you were rolling what, uh, 12, 20, 26, 30 <laughs> out of 30, and you ended up getting a six. Wow, yeah. that's pretty weak. And the other uh, checks I was doing, I was, you know, oh, I had to roll a six, and I was rolling like 16. Yeah. But okay. Okay. Well, you, uh, it is your turn this time. So I'm going to flip your card, and then I'm oh, going to redraw. I don't get to draw up. All right. No, but you can use your staff, though. Mm-hmm. Are you beat up badly enough that I need to use my staff? I think I'm in decent enough shape. I wouldn't worry about it. I just did draw my two half plates, which is good as well. That helped me with that. Um, okay, because I'm only, I've only got three cards that I discarded, so okay. I don't really need to use it yet. All right. Well, let me get these off of here and uh, proceed with flipping your card, I guess. All right. All right. Oh wow! It's a giant hermit crab. <laughs> it's Mr. Krabs. <laughs> money, 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 money. <laughs> no, right. Mr. Krabs. So he is a combat nine, and it says down at the bottom, if the giant hermit crab would be defeated, re-roll the dice and use the new results. So oh. okay, I guess you have to beat him twice. That's pretty okay. interesting. Okay, my dexterity plus a d10. And you're gonna get a d4 because you're fighting where I'm at. So. All right. And you got a plus two, so you got to get a seven twice, is what it boils down to. All okay, right. Okay, there's one. So, uh, just got to do it again. The dice. Okay. Yeah. Well, right. That's pretty interesting. Oh, yes. God. You scared me there for a second. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> All right. So, the good thing is you get to draw back up. Yay. And, uh, hey, well, before you do that, yes. why don't you just use that staff of minor healing? Get that out of your hand. Okay, uh, use it on me if you like. Would you like a card, a uh, random card from your discard pile? How does it work? I'm sorry. Um, I recharge this card and choose a character at my location to recharge one random card from your discard sure. pile. Okay. Okay. And then what do I do with it? What do I do with this card? Recharge it. Oh, okay. So, oh, good. It was my blessing of Callistra. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so ready? I'm not. I don't ready. remember if I flipped for me net yet or not. Uh oh. I didn't um, pay attention to what the blessing was. Hang on. That yeah. one was mine. Then me, then you, then me. Okay. All right. So ah, it's her again. It's you again. Okay. Well, I might be able to get her this time myself. The uh, the only problem is is this stupid force blast I got to deal with, and you do too again. So, once again, um, before the encounter, each character must uh, roll one, deals one d four force damage to each character. One. Hey. Hi. All right. So let me see here. Um, it says here, banish this card to reduce all damage dealt to you to zero. If you're a proficient in heavy armors, bury this card instead. Well, I am proficient, so I will bury it. That's kind of funny. I've got this potion of energy resistance. Banish this card, reduce acid, cold, electricity, or fire. But oh, no well, force. guess what? She's got the force. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Two. All right. Let's see. I guess okay. I'll get rid of my boots. So uh, I will proceed with fighting her, and we're not going to use any uh, blessings, obviously, because we don't want to increase her ability to, uh, or her, uh, her health. So, all right. So I will roll a d10. Let me find one of those first. And I will use my long sword plus one. And it says, for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d8 plus one. You may additionally discard this card to add an additional uh, d6. So I will do that to get the d6 as well. And uh, so that will give me a total plus six. So I just need to roll six with these three dice. Okay, accomplished. All right, so let's go with the second combat, which will be a 14. And this time I'm going to use my Icy Long Spear. And it says, uh, for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d8. Um, so boom, boom. Um, with the cold trait, if I fail a combat check with this weapon, you may discard this card to ignore the result and re-roll the dice. You must take the second Results. So, okay. okay, so this will be a six. So I need to get an eight with these two dice. There we go. Got it. 18. So that is it. Woo! We have defeated her. So, pow, 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 pow. Uh, we don't have to worry about trying to do the win closing thingy here because that was where the 
um, what's her face was. All right, so it says here that um, each character will gain a card feat, and also the loot here for the scenario down at the bottom says we get the Sheridan Medallion. So, um, pretty cool. We'll pull that out of the box and... Sahedron medallion? Sahedron, yeah. yeah. So, why don't okay. we get this all cleaned up, we'll lay out our cards, and we'll see what we're carrying over to the next uh, scenario. Okay, let's do it. Woo! Woo! All right, so we are now complete with the Burnt Offering Scenario Pack. And, uh, wow, that was pretty cool. Um, took us a while, but here we are. We are now going to delve into the second Scenario Pack, which is the... Skin saw murders. Exciting. Yeah. Skins and saws and murders. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, a couple of things to talk about. Number one, that was pretty cool. Um, I thought it was neat how the first time we tried to fight her, we tried to do a combo effect and that failed miserably. It didn't but work. <laughs> wow, I mean you had you had a potential 30 that you could roll and you rolled a, a six, you know, and, and there's nothing you Lines can do. Ones and twos, and they just don't add up to enough. <laughs> it just doesn't work. No matter how many dice you throw with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's just how it goes. It, that's the luck portion of the game. There's nothing yeah. you can do about that. Well, I gotta say, though, that I feel like we were lucky that she was in that location. Because, uh, that's what you I was going to say. We yeah. didn't have to do the closing uh, action because she was there. Yeah. And I was actually going to try to work her into that location if she wasn't already there well, for that purpose. It wasn't so. just that. It's the fact that we were able to just walk from this uh, location to that location to that location. And it just seemed like we just were... Oh, uh, we closed wow. it. Wow. So I mean, weeks, so, yeah. this is one of the fastest games we've played and, yeah. and it was pretty cool um i really felt like we were in control in the driver's seat the whole time never felt worried about the time or nothing yeah. like that but she was a tough um villain because she hit me with that force blast the first time right. and knocked out four of my cards which i'll be honest i think i would have defeated her the first time i faced her if not for that mm -hmm. so she is a very tough villain to fight so i'm excited to see we don't look too far ahead in the uh, scenarios and stuff um anymore so we don't know what kind of villains and monsters we're going to be fighting uh, coming up so that's going to be pretty exciting yeah it makes it more exciting that way okay Let's talk about also both you and I are going to be able to upgrade a skill feat. A card uh, or feat. Or a card feat. Yeah. Thank you. Um, now, if you watch after the credits, we are going to go through all our cards that we're going to keep. And we actually do check mark off our card feat already. But both of us are kind of second guessing this. I went with weapons and I believe you did too. I went with weapons because sometimes I have trouble even getting a weapon in my hand because I only have two in my deck. So that's right. why I went with weapons. But... I feel like if I could, if I went with ally or blessing, or blessing yep. maybe that could have helped us with intelligence checks because yeah. we can never pass those. And you know what? I'm second guessing it too, guys. So help us out. Let us know what you think. Should we stick? I mean, let's face it. Valero's strength is his weapons. That's how he cycles through his deck. That's why I went with weapons. But at the same time, yeah, like she said, we need help with the intelligence and the wisdom part of this game. And that's where we're starting to struggle too much. So should we go with blessings and allies that we can might, you know, try to get cards in our hand to help us out with so let us know what you guys think of that because we can always change it no big deal we was kind of premature by check marking it all yeah anyway, we were so. kind of like woohoo card feet let's go and and we forgot to ask you first so. <laughs> okay so um hey are you guys interested in seeing us do the skin saw murders because if you are we are going to start next week yes we're going to continue this as quickly as we can to try to get back on the ball and get this stuff moving a little bit faster because we know that we've been pretty negligent on trying to get these live plays out and we want to start doing a little bit better job. So Yeah, I mean, that's what we're all about. So we got to keep, keep them up. All right. So, hey, uh, watch after the credits. We will go through the cards of what we're going to decide to keep. Not much excitement there. We didn't actually acquire too much in this one. You'll see us checkmark our weapons. Give us feedback on if you think we should go with a blessing or an ally instead. And whoever, uh, whatever the most votes we get, that is the direction we are going to end up going. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, so the card said that we are allowed to gain a card feat uh, for finishing up the scenario. So, Carmen, here is the pin. What are you going to upgrade on Marissa? Um, I think I'm going to go with weapons because I've had trouble getting weapons in my hand in okay. the past since I only have two. All right. So, so now you're going to be able to hold three weapons instead of two, which yes. works well because you got that because flaming whip thing. Because I happen to thing. have three weapons mm -hmm. at the moment. All right. All right. And I am thinking I'm going to go weapons as well because that's the strength of my character, and I don't see why not. It okay. doesn't make sense to me 
if uh, to play with anything else. All right. I, I think a blessing could have helped either one of us as well. Yeah, but I can only hold four though, or I can hold three now. That would only max it to four. Mm -hmm. My thing is, uh, my character has an obvious um, skill, which is strength and fighting. So why not just keep um, aiding yeah. that? that okay. I, I okay. was thinking about blessings or allies though, because of our intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at what we got all here. Right. Um, I can hold a total of six weapons now. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's all my weapons to carry over to the next round. And I can hold three weapons and I have three. So I'll keep these three. Okay. All right. Next thing down are spells, which neither one of us can hold, which actually you could get a spell, believe it or not. Yeah, I could. Um, yeah. Next is armors. I can hold three armors. I've already got those, so... I can hold one, and I already have mine. So there we All go. All right. Items. I can hold two items. I've already got those. But uh, I want to see what you're going to do first, because I am yes. going to give you the blessing of Sherida, or uh, what is it? The Sahedron Medallion. Sahedron. Yep. Okay. Sahedron. Um, and the reason is because it says discard this card to reduce damage dealt to you by four. And uh, I like that for her, because uh, she doesn't All have right. quite as much armor as I do. Well... That's kind of similar to my potion of energy resistance, only um, this is all it's damage, better. though. This is all damage and it's discard, whereas the potion of energy resistance is hmm. acid, coal, electricity. If you're thinking of getting rid of that um, that energy resistance, I'll probably okay. take that from you. Now, but you have to banish it when you use it. So hmm. okay, well, um, I'm fine with that. That's why I'm I'm okay. I'll get rid, rid of this okay. potion of fortitude and I'll take that in its place. So so I still have seven items, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of the boots. Yeah. They add one of my acrobatics. My acrobatics is already really high. So okay, okay so um, that's six. Next thing down are our allies. I've already got two allies, so nothing there. Same here. All right. Next are blessings. I've already got my three blessings, so <laughs> nothing there. Four blessings, and I have four. That was easy.